In the early 1940s, the world was engulfed in the flames of war, and the Soviet Union was in desperate need of a high-performance fighter aircraft to counter the German Luftwaffe's relentless onslaught. Artem Ivanovich Mikoyan and Mikhail Iosifovich Gurevich, two visionary aircraft designers who would shape the destiny of the Soviet Air Force. The Mikoyan Gurevich Design Bureau was tasked with creating a formidable fighter, and they did not disappoint. The MiG-3, their brainchild, took to the skies in 1940, showcasing its sleek, streamlined design and advanced engineering. The manufacturing of this aircraft was nothing short of an engineering marvel. The use of wood and metal in its construction not only made it lightweight but also durable, capable of withstanding the harsh conditions of high-altitude combat. One of the most critical components of any aircraft is its engine, and the MiG-3 was powered by the potent AM-35A inline V-12 engine. This powerhouse generated an impressive 1,350 horsepower, propelling the aircraft to a top speed of over 400 miles per hour a staggering achievement for its time. The engine's reliability and performance were crucial in ensuring that the MiG-3 could compete with and often outclass its adversaries. The MiG-3 was more than just a fast plane with a powerful engine. It boasted several distinctive features that set it apart from its contemporaries. One of its most remarkable characteristics was its altitude capability. The MiG-3 could climb to over 36,000 feet, allowing it to engage enemy aircraft at higher altitudes, giving Soviet pilots a significant advantage in combat. Another unique aspect of the MiG-3 was its armament. It was equipped with a formidable array of weaponry, including a 12.7mm Bears in UBS machine gun and a 7.62mm SHKAS machine gun, both synchronized to fire through the propeller arc. Additionally, it could carry bombs and rockets, making it versatile in various combat situations. The MiG-3's competitive advantage over other fighters of the World War II era was evident in several key areas. Its speed and high-altitude performance allowed it to intercept and engage enemy aircraft before they could reach their intended targets. This ability was critical in protecting Soviet cities and vital infrastructure from German air raids. Furthermore, the MiG-3's firepower made it a formidable adversary in dogfights. German pilots soon learned to fear the distinctive roar of its engines and the deadly accuracy of its machine guns. It was not uncommon for MiG-3 pilots to return from missions with impressive kill counts, further cementing the aircraft's reputation as a terror in the skies. The combat performance of the MiG-3 is a testament to its engineering and the skill of the pilots who flew it. One of its most famous engagements took place during the Battle of Moscow in late 1941. As the German forces closed in on the Soviet capital, the MiG-3 played a pivotal role in defending the city. Soviet pilots, including aces like Alexander Pokrishkin, achieved remarkable success in MiG-3. Pokrishkin himself scored many of his victories while flying this aircraft. His famous quote, the MiG-3 was a good fighter, it was fast and climbed well, highlights the aircraft's strengths. The MiG-3's fame extended beyond the Battle of Moscow. It participated in numerous iconic missions throughout the war. One such mission was the defense of Stalingrad, a brutal and pivotal battle that marked a turning point in the conflict. The MiG-3's ability to intercept and engage German bombers over the city's skies played a crucial role in preventing further devastation. Another famous mission involved the defense of Leningrad, where the MiG-3's high-altitude capabilities allowed it to disrupt German bombing raids and protect the city's besieged inhabitants. The aircraft's endurance and performance in extreme conditions showcased its adaptability and effectiveness as a wartime fighter. The operational history of the MiG-3 was not without its challenges. While it excelled at high-altitude interception and was a potent dogfighter, it did have some limitations. One of the significant drawbacks was its limited range, which restricted its ability to operate far from Soviet airfields. This meant that the MiG-3 was primarily used for the defense of key locations rather than offensive missions deep into enemy territory. 